Hey yo, Legion here, back again, once again, and always again, and today I'm going to talk about something a little different, and it's sports related, and yeah, I do enjoy sports, as you can see, I do post FIFA videos, but I've never really done a commentary about, like, teams, players, transfer news, or whatever, and I basically want to talk about Van Persie to Manchester United, which has just been pretty crazy, but, uh, their footballers on Twitter as well, from likes of Rooney, tweeting about him, even Piers Morgan tweeted about Percy with no lack of loyalty, and for those who do not know Piers Morgan, he is an X-Factor judge, I think, and he's like a Sam Cow wannabe, and I just think he's complete twit, to be honest. But, um, you know, everyone is calling this the transfer of the season, let alone Chelsea did sign Hazard, and Manchester United also signed Kagawa, and for those who don't know, Kagawa was in the World Eleven last year, which is also amazing, and regarding with Hazard as well, I don't think Hazard did pretty well in the preseason at all, but, uh, you know, apart from that, you know, the news about Van Persie has just escalated to a point where Arsenal fans are literally hating on Percy, they're making videos about him, and United fans are loving him because he was last year's top goal scorer, of course. You know, and to be honest, it just feels odd in the sense that United have brought him because they're title rivals, Manchester United and Arsenal are, and United buying Arsenal's captain, you know, if you switch that way around, that's like saying Arsenal buys gigs or Vidic or someone. You know, I mean, I kept him. But um, I don't think that would happen again though, for a while. Or, you know, I don't think it would even happen again. A rival team buying each other's uh, captains. So, also, I've seen a YouTube video of someone burning a Arsenal shirt with Van Persie on the back. And in Percy's defence, that's what I've seen. You know, he has been at Arsenal for several years now. He's 29 years old. And he has only won, I think, one or maybe two trophies at Arsenal. So, a player like that would want to move clubs that can get trophies, you know, I'm not saying Arsenal are bad, of course, Arsenal is one of the best teams in Europe and will be, you know, they will be one of the best teams for a long time, um, but, you know, over the past seven years or eight years or so, they have been lacking trophy success and having seen Nasri and Fabregas left, which, Bar you know, Fabregas has got Barcelona, no, Barcelona's got Fabregas, I mean, and uh, Manchester City got Man Nasri, which they've won titles, they've won trophies, and, you know, they've won trophies, and Percy knows that, which is why I think that is one of the main reasons why he wants to leave. And also, he did say in his statement about the transfer policy. But uh, we know, we all know that Wenger does not like to spend, which is good, and it's also bad at the same time, because Wenger is a top-notch manager, but he should... I think he should break his, some of his transfer records uh, signings and just sign at least one or two world-class players, and hopefully they can bond with the youngins so they can get more experience from the experience. No, the youngins can get more experience from the experienced players, and just make a really strong team like they did in 2003, 2004, when they had the likes of Omri and Lundberg. So um, yeah, I still think Arsenal will be in the top four or five at most. They have some fantastic signings from like Podolski. Uh, Gerard, Gerard, Groudy, <laughs> I can't remember what his name is now, but uh, yeah, so, you know, Arsenal does, Arsenal does have some fantastic signings, and Wenger knows how to get their best out of young players, so I wouldn't cross them off, and for Percy being successful at United, well, there are countless comments of people saying he is a waste of £24 million because of his injury prone, and that is a good comment to argue with, but when Percy is fully fit, he has always delivered for Arsenal. He has a goal ratio of 0.47, which is pretty top-notch for a player, being as he plays in the strongest league in the world, which is the Premier League. And during Arsenal, he has played an overall 277 games and scored 132, which is amazing. But, you know, if you add the assist as well, which is 62, for example, on the goals, you know, he's only had about 70 games, which he did not provide for Arsenal, out of 277, so... You know, there's proof in statistics that he is a pretty good player for uh, 24 million. So moving on to the next phase, which is if he, you know, would he deliver just for United as he did with Arsenal? And for that, I cannot say yet because the Premier League has not yet started, and I hope he does not fl doesn't flop like Berbatov, being as he was United's most expensive player, I think, it was 32 million. And also like Torres because Torres did go to Chelsea for 50 million, and he hasn't done nothing really. But um. When, Chelsea, when Torres also uh, did go to Chelsea, I said at the start that he won't do good because Torres plays a much more fast pace to what Chelsea plays and it just would not suit his style. But with Percy, he played for Arsenal, United and Arsenal have a similar style and I think personally will fit in really well. But, uh, you know, only time will tell, but what do you guys think of this? Do you think Percy will deliver to uh, United or do you think he'll just be another flop like Berbatov was? and Torres but um, you know I'm leaving guys and I'll see you next time peace out everyone